Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We were heading eastbound on the I-10 towards New Mexico when I got off the exit at a truck stop to get fuel. Behind the truck stop, I saw this abandoned building out in the desert. I'm not quite sure what it used to be. But as you can see, it's been abandoned for quite some time. I did see a way scale outside. You see lots of signs and barricades inside. But I'm not sure what purpose this used to serve. I can also tell it must have been abandoned for quite some time as well, due to the fact all the windows have been busted out and the doors have been ripped off. It was down a dirt road um, to get to it. It didn't have a street address or a, a road sign, but uh, most times I do look up places, but I'm not quite sure. If you know what this was at one time, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. It looks like there was some other buildings and structures outside as well, but they must have been torn down and removed. So, after this little quick stop back on the I-10 we go on our way down to New Mexico. As we continued down the I-10, about three more exits and about 15 miles from the last place on our way to New Mexico. I saw this small town and figured I would get off the exit to see maybe if I could find something cool to take a photograph of. Not really supposed to be a trip of exploring because we needed to get to New Mexico, but I saw this cool abandoned tow truck sitting out alongside the road, and then I saw this motorhome sitting behind it, and I thought, well, I will check it out real quick. And so this place was quite large. I believe it was an old construction place company, I believe, at one, at one time. That's my best guess. I just don't actually know what it used to be, but I'm assuming it had something to do with construction at one given time. The old motorhome is pretty cool. It has definitely seen better days. However, I don't think it's been moved in in quite some time. As you can see, it's very rural, or literally out in the middle of nowhere. I believe the population of this town is definitely less than a hundred individuals. And I think that's a water tank fill. I believe that's what that was used for it at one time. Feel free to always let me know or correct me. I I don't know everything that I'm out here exploring. But I also saw this, this little old, which I thought was a restaurant. Turns out it was a cafe. It was called the Tumbleweed Cafe. And I looked it up online, and there's really very little information about this place. I found three, four photographs online, and two or three of them were of its current state. But there was one taken back in about 2011. 
and it looked really cool back then. So I'm not really sure what what happened here or why it went out of business or became in such a state of disarray. But here it sits, waiting for Mother Nature to reclaim it. And I'm not sure why you can't find much online about it. Um, I'm not even sure how long it was in in business at one time. But obviously around 2011 was the last photo of it in great shape. And it appeared that it was open for business back then, but I may be wrong. Maybe it was just in great shape at that time. And closed prior to that so I am really un unsure the inside was pretty gutted out as you can see not really much left in there it's pretty much just vacant there was some chairs to my right hand side um, but other than that that was about it didn't see any real graffiti or any or any real vandalism except that the back door is currently missing um but here you can see this is where they must have put all their dishes after they closed down i assume can't imagine that's where they stored them when they were open for for business and then I walked around the property a little more, found this old bulldozer, I believe. That was pretty cool. And then over here was a trailer left behind. I believe that's a spool of something that was sitting there as, as well. I'm not, I don't believe that was a part of the Tumbleweed Cafe. Although these two properties are one, I mean, unless the Tumbleweed Cafe just owned up front, I'm not really sure. And then over to the right-hand side was the, was the house or where possibly this business used to be. Um... I saw lockers um, that looked like they had a bunch of bunch of stuff left behind in them, and uh, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. I would assume this was a a construction company at one time, but I'm not really sure once again what happened to this. Although it is out in literally the middle of nowhere so maybe it was just used to i mean maybe they started this business it was used to help build the a little bit of a town that there is here i just don't don't know and then the final place because my wife really wanted to get to new mexico and was probably getting annoyed that i kept stopping was this old building here that i think used to be a diesel mechanic service I believe there's also a house next to it you may be able to see and I'm not sure if that house was a part of this business or if it was not the train kept going by non-stop in both directions so I ended up doing a voiceover for pretty much this entire video as it was really difficult to hear with the train non-stop in the background. But I looked this place up and I believe they've moved down the road and this is the old shop and they have a new shop now. Although I have passed by this place probably a hundred times in my 
in my life traveling back and forth east to west. I figured I would stop and take a look. And here comes the next train passing by us again for a second time since I've been here. There's not much that was left behind, just the trailer, the few pieces of construction equipment, and the motor home that we will get to. But it was still worth the quick stop, as it's just right off the I-10. So, as we keep exploring throughout the summer, if you enjoy this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share, as I will be posting more videos throughout the summertime on our travels north or east. Have not really decided yet which direction we are going, but it is getting a little hot this time of year down here in southern Arizona, so it is time to move on until next winter when we will probably be back again for our sixth year. So, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. I really wasn't sure when I went down this alley where the property line started and ended. I saw the uh, the house down here, and I'm not sure if that house belonged to this property or they just shared a shared a driveway. So I decided not to check out the houses. I was unsure if somebody was still residing there or or not. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to put them out every Sunday and Wednesday as long as I have enough stuff I can film.